Okay everybody, welcome to Fourth Axe Setup. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a fourth axis so that it's precise and um, set up correctly. So some of the things you're going to need is you're going to need, um, I got a 7 16 socket here for my bolt. I have a V bit in I have a V bit in my chuck. I have another V bit that I can put into this chuck. I have a square and a 7 16 inch wrench and another selection that you could use for a centering part. And I'll show you that what that is all about here in a second or two. So, got all these PC parts here. The first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to set the control head in. And I'm setting it up for a pen, so, but it doesn't matter. You can set this up any way you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is where I'm going to put my head. So I need to put some hold downs and you can just use hold downs. I use a uh, 7 16 bolt and I'm going to have to put them in this slot and the reason being is, is that's the slot that I'm going to put the head in of my A axis. So I want to capture both of these in this slot here. Now, just because it's in the slot doesn't mean that it's square to the table. Okay? It doesn't mean that. So, what I'm going to do to get it square to the table is I'm going to use a square. And you can do this a couple different ways. Basically what I'm going to do is square it up with the face here. So move this out of the way a little bit so we can get up against there. And this is not going to be perfect but it's going to give you a pretty good indication of where you want to be. So that seems pretty good there. So I will go and tighten the other side up. <clears throat> and check it again to make sure that it's where I want it to be. That's pretty square there. Okay, another thing that you can do is you can use your gantry and what we would do is touch here and touch here and I'll show you how to do that. So we want to come over to this head or the, ta the headstock. What I want to do is just put that right on that tip. Right 
right there. And what we're going to do is zero our x-axis. So our x-axis is now on zero. See, it's on zero. Now we're going to bring that tip forward. notice it's right where it's supposed to be. So that means I have that square to the gantry. Okay, that's number one thing we got to do. The next thing we got to do is put the tailstock square or in line with the headstock. So what we do, so we want to get these two tips aligned. Now we'll come into it a, pretty, a little bit slower. Now really slow. Okay, our tips are aligned. Let's set zero and zero. So they're both set at zero. So when I transverse this across and line up my tailstock, these will be on the same plane. So that's what we're going to do now. So I've determined that I'm going to need my tailstock um, probably in this groove right here. Maybe this groove. This is the groove I'm going to have my tailstock in. So. What I have to do is, I want to do is put my bolts in. So, put one in on this side and one in on this side. So, the first thing I want to do is install my tailstock approximately where I want it and put my bolts in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to transverse my 60 degree bit over that's in my spindle. So I'm going to bring it over to the right. And now what I'm going to do is align the tailstock with the point on the spindle. So I'm going to bring this over, nudge it up a little bit, just snug it, you don't want it too tight because you're going to probably still have to move it around a little bit. So. Let's bring our bit or our uh, spindle over just a little bit more. That looks pretty good right there. So we want to tighten up our tailstock. Okay, now our tailstock is set. Now the next thing that we have to do is that we have to figure out what the distance from this point is to the top of our tailstock. Now we're ready to find the tailstock radius. And the tailstock radius is basically the distance from the tip here of your tailstock to the top here where you're going to be measuring all the time for tool changes. So we need to know this dimension from this point to the very top of this. 
what we're going to do is a touch off on the top of this to get to zero here. So then we'll be able to measure the difference between here and here. Let's go ahead and zero y or x which we're doing here and now what I want to do is I want to zero z too for the very fact I want to know what the difference is here. So I'm going to set this to zero and say OK. So right now I'm saying that is which it's true that is the zero point which is the rotational axis of our part. So what I'm going to do is come up and then come over to the right come down a little bit and then I'm going to put my touch plate in here then I'm going to go to plate say OK I'm going to touch my touch plate say OK say OK to that now I know that this is 625 from here to here okay that's the thickness of my plate so if I come over to the left the top of my bring this down to zero that should be this height right here now if I come down to where those points are aligned again and that looks like they're aligned again these two points right here so at this point in time I can set there and say the distance from here to here is five hundred and nine thousandths so write that down I'm gonna write it down it's five hundred and nine thousandths so now what we're going to do is set the XY origin and the XY origin is where your project is going to start. Um, in other words, that is the origin that you have in your drawing. So my XY is going to be here. Really, the only thing that I have to set is X for the very fact Y is already set because it's the center line between the tailstock and the headstock. So all I'm going to do is pick this up, run it over and then I'm going to determine where my X coordinate is going to be. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to move it to the left to where we want it to be to start our project. And I want to start my project right there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is make this the zero coordinate for my X. So I'll come up here and say zero and set it and say OK now that is going to be my XY coordinate on my drawing right there so now that I've got all of those settings down now I need to set there and set the tool height so that my tool is uh, orientated to the center line of my project so I got to bring it all the way back to the right and this is where I'm going to use my touch off pad again okay we are now ready to set our tool height and I'm going to do it with the touch plate remember I had put a piece of tape on my touch plate to insulate it which is two thousandths thicker make sure you compensate for that so I'm going to put my touch plate in 
go to plate, say OK, touch the touch plate to make sure you got a good circuit, say OK, take the plate out, say OK. This dimension here is the dimension between the tip of this tool and the top of the tailstock. But we don't want the top of the tailstock to be our center line. We want the center line of our project to be it. So what I need to do is compensate for this distance here, which we have already measured. That was our tailstock radius. So what we do is that we add our tailstock radius. In my case, it was 0.5. 0, 6, that gives me 1.131. That is the distance between the tip of my tool and the center line of my project. Say set, say OK. Now, if I tell it to go to 0, it will go to the center line of this project. That's what I want. Now remember, you have to make this adjustment every time you do a tool change. So this is a critical adjustment that you have to be aware of. So if you change your tool, you'll have to go through the steps of setting the height and then adding the tailstock radius. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out in your fourth axis setup. If you need any more information or updates, please visit nextwaveautomation.com. Also, visit our projects there. We have projects that are easy for you to attain and make. So again, for information, Go to nextwaveautomation.com. Thank you.